Where's the Wikipedia? Can yeah, you I gotta see that. And can you get it up over there? No. Oh, I can't do anything over here except uh, look at Pal Talk. Yeah. <laughs> I have the audience on there. Let me zoom in on some people so uh, they yeah, can yeah. Uh, see. Here you go. There's a fine, strapping young gentleman. <laughs> All right. We'll go there. Oh, who's that? Is that your girl? Yeah? That's your chick? And look at that. Where'd you two meet? Where'd you meet? FBA. Oh, great. Get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you've written awful things about all of us. Thank you. Have you? No. I'm sure they have. <laughs> have you written bad things about me? I can't hear you. Have you written bad things about me? No, I never. I hope not. <laughs> I'm a ray of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> certainly is. Uh, here's the updated Wikipedia page for Jill Nicolini. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'll back up just a little bit. On May 20th, 2008. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. May of 2008. She began dating shock jock and fellow Long Islander Anthony Cumia of the Opie and Anthony Show. Though it appears that the relationship has ended appears. as of <laughs> August of 2008 due to his infidelity. Yes. Infidelity. She, Shut up. Am I fucking married? <laughs> she is currently in a relationship with hedge fund manager and owner Joseph D. Virgil. An expert in alternative energy and natural resources. <laughs> Oh, good. He's gonna he's gonna tap that ass for a, another a new type of energy for alternative fuel. Yeah, yeah. it remains yeah, yet to be fill seen. Fill it up, Jill. <laughs> it remains uh, yet to be seen when this relationship ends. What she will steal and hold for ransom, and what will be destroyed. Ah. <laughs> uh, Jill is seemingly unstable, going through Mr. Kumia's Amex statements, looking for possible moments of infidelity. In addition, she took Mr. Kumia's Escalade, Easy Pass, and laptop. Uh, and held the last two items for ransom. And my pistol license. But she gave that back All because right, I told good. her I might be facing uh, uh, weapons charges if she didn't give it back to me. So I had to register one of my guns. I didn't have my license. And like, Jesus did? Christ, you know, i got to go down to the police department with these fucking uh, the guns and license. Well, I, I dropped them off at Jimmy's house, and the silencers didn't fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would be... Uh... No, nah, don't worry about it. He doesn't know. No, it's no good. idea. It's okay. What song would you play right now? Don't help him. Butch is on the board. Yeah. Anthony's starting something that could be really good, but he needs the song. What song would it be? I didn't really care because I knew the Colombians would probably want to take the guns he's, when I went to pick up the coke. He's continuing the bid. <laughs> Danny, don't help him. I want to see what song he would pick. Why'd they pull Derek? Because no one listens to us, that's why. Butch, yeah. Can we ask you a question? It's not to knock on Butcher, but Derek was on the board. No, Butch is gonna. I, I absolutely apologize. <laughs> well, just I still have no idea. All right, but you gotta think on your feet wow. in okay. there. Anthony's doing a bit. What song would you play? Good. Pop one on. Steve. Pop one on. So I'm driving, and uh, I had to go to the hospital to pick up my brother. So uh, went to the hospital, picked him up, then we drove home. Then I had to start cooking. So I'm stop making the sauce. I had to have my brother stir in the sauce while I went out to get the uh, drugs from the Colombians at the hotel. So I hop in the car and uh, the black helicopters Don't are chasing me. Don't help. <laughs> and can can I can I jump in for a sec? Yeah. Could you do the same rant but uh, make it a little more more personal in in your life maybe? <laughs> starting with the uh, starting with the bedroom. Oh, what? So. All right, as he gets the song. Okay. People know what you're doing by now. So I'm laying in bed. Yeah. And, there we go. There. and I hear I, I hear this knocking, this knocking on the door that wakes me up. Now, so I wake up and uh, over to my horror I hear, you know, hey, it's Jill. Why is the door locked? The door's never locked. So I have to think of an excuse because I got a naked girl laying down next to me uh, that has spent the night over the house with me. And what do I do? I don't know. I don't want to answer the door, okay. but I'm naked. I got to get clothes on, so I got to get up. But I got to sound like I can't answer the door for some other reason. So I tell her that. I'm uh, hung over and can't get up that quick to hang out for a minute. While she's doing that, waiting, she's still uh, knocking on the door, but the girl then gets up and goes into the closet to get her clothes on. I'm getting dressed. She's getting more pissed at the door knocking. And uh, finally, uh, when the girl's in the closet, I go and open the door and let her in. She starts discussing her suspicion she has about why I'm in the room with the door locked. 
So she starts looking around the room. She opens up one of the closets, and no girl's in there because she's in the other closet. And I'm talking to her the whole time, uh, asking her, you know, where she was all night. And, see, he'll never get this song. Well, now E-Rock's trying. <laughs> they're, uh, they're up to the fourth guy in there. Wow. <laughs> Can we just play the fucking song from... They don't know it. There's a few layers of fucking shit going on right now. What? A few layers of shit? <laughs> Great. So, sounds like my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> What's who, going on? Who, who, who pulled Derek off the board? Originally? Yeah, like he was supposed to. We had discussed <coughs> 50 times. Yes, we had and discussed not putting him Butcher, back but Derek does a good on the board. And not to knock Butcher, but he's an incompetent piece of shit. No, no, no. But Derek, it, it, was, always, it was always good. And, I... and, Okay. I apologize. I, I, if, no, no, if, I'm not, no, you don't apologize. If it's a movie, I have absolutely never, ever, if it was a movie, ever, ever seen this it's movie. It's one of the. I'm not saying it's not. It's, okay, got, thank you. It's a movie that is very rare. No one's seen it. Yeah, you know, it's not a popular movie. Probably the greatest guy flick ever. Why was he? Why was he pulled it's off? It's up there though, anyway. He said that we wanted him on. Uh, because he's doing, I don't know, production. Steve, <laughs> why was he pulled doing, off? Production for the show that airs during the show. I understand your Good. issues. Once again, we've said many times, dude. I, why don't you listen? He, to I us. do listen. I really don't know why off. you don't listen to us. And then I, I don't get it. it. Why was the found your music off? thing yeah. doesn't change <laughs> ever? This thing doesn't change ever. You got it, Derek. Play the fucking song. That doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. Yeah, remember this scene? No, of course you don't. <laughs> now it doesn't. Now it doesn't matter. Though. Now it doesn't matter. Oi, oi, oi. Let's bring her out. 13 year old whore number four. <laughs> I think the rest of the Wikipedia. <laughs> I think the rest of the Wikipedia update. So, uh, well, the Amex statements looking for possible moments of infidelity. In addition, she took Mr. Kumia's Escalade Easy Pass and laptop belonging to Mr. Kumia and held the last two items for ransom. While retrieving her items from Mr. Kumia's house, Miss Nicolini had a fatal attraction moment when she took Mr. Kumia's lady friend's items and burnt them in his fancy new fire pit. Items that were stolen by Miss Nicolini, Mr. Kumia had to pay $1,000 in what amounts to extortion money to pay for Miss Nicolini's dry cleaning and camera that she lost while at his home. She also could fix the oil problem with with her ass. <laughs> she, uses, <laughs> she uses a fat blocking drug which causes her anus to leak fat all over Mr. Kumia's bed, <laughs> resembling an upside down pizza. Pizza, yeah. That is the latest update uh -huh. from Wikipedia. I don't think she made that one. I might need a little updating. <laughs> Well, they, they say, uh, on this feedback, they're saying just keep updating it because it, it just keeps getting better and better. People are all over it. I'm just watching Mari again, another another young whore that wants to be a mom. What the fuck is going on? Uh -oh. So this is all the stuff you've stolen, Angel, huh? Yeah. Well, why don't we just return it to the stores right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, at least... What's well, wrong with the 13 year old hole we got? <laughs> <laughs> she breed pretty good. You don't really care who's the father. Um, yeah. nope, as long as I have a baby. <laughs> You don't care who the father is. Good girl. All right. <laughs> why, why do Maury's you hair is without, fucking without awful. It's ah. atrocious. He's going to be there eventually. What do you mean he's going to be there eventually? Eventually. You know how many shows I do where the fathers never show up? <laughs> Maury stinks. Yeah. When we come back, I'm going to give you one reason why none of you should be having to be. When did Maury change one when he reason? Talks? So 13. I'm going to give you one reason. Mm -hmm. When did Maury start sounding as stupid as his motherfucking audience? Yeah, he sort of, he fell into like jive talking. Yeah. So we never got an answer as to why Derek was yanked when he was specifically asked to be on the board. And we're not going to. I think we should, though. We're not going to. It's a fair question. I don't want to. And it's make, not a knock on Butcher, but I, I want to make the audience uncomfortable. I do, I, it's a fair question. I'm he was I just want to know why I, why Derek's not on the board. He's got a lot of stuff to do. Oh. And you know what? This is one of those out-of-the-blue moments where we've got guys. We've got Eric in the studio pulling audio that was asked for. We've got uh, Derek in the... Uh, <clears throat> In the studio, uh, in, in, in the other studio, making sweepers that he, he's asked for by D.C. now that this merger's happening. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying, what's more important than 
We, we I, understand, I understand your argument with the on air. With the, but with, you don't with the understand air, because yes, I do. But this stuff happens out of the blue, and out of the blue, it comes in, and you know, yeah, I, 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 I get yelled at. So he's been but, off the board for a while, though. He comes back in every once in a while. Have you Again, noticed? We said we want him on the board, <laughs> and he's been off the board for a while. <laughs> so it's like, what is? What do we have to do as the on air staff to get him on the board when we've asked for him on the board? Speaking of board. <laughs> <laughs> Relinquish the amount of stuff he's doing. Uh, that's so it's like the it's channel. amazing though. It's like we say we want him on the board because he, he, it's like I he's good, it. and he's yanked off. Yanked off. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. Uh, yeah, on the fly there uh, on the board. You know, but I guess the sweepers are them. more important than the on air. There's so much. Nothing other... is more important than what goes out over the air. Yeah. World Nothing. Peace. That wasn't the only World person peace. in here that actually had to discuss this stuff because the arguments that I get into with the other with the other guys on the staff that are telling me about all the other things that they're doing. Okay, well, like what? So compelling. I don't care about anything anybody says. I understand you don't care. I what, understand. What, what, I get what? it. You've told me a million times, and I ask Eric why he's not on the board, okay. and he's running in here and saying, <laughs> and, and saying he was cutting up audio. And well, saying, then you <laughs> say you get on the fucking board because that's what they want. And I have, and he said no, but they just asked. They, they just asked for this right now. How stupid can one person be? <laughs> Fuck it, but don't have him on the board. It's good. No, you want him on the board? He'll be on the board. <laughs> no, I don't want him on the board. Good Probably. evening. <laughs> Try the wine. No. no, you want him on the board? You're gonna. There's gonna be less stuff surrounding the show. What? Oh, surrounding the show? Oh, what? My, do you listen to the show outside? No, I'm on the okay. show. <laughs> <laughs> But there's so much stuff surrounding this show that's... That and there's a lot of time to do it. No, another eight hours a day he could be here. Uh, it doesn't get done in five minutes. I know it doesn't get done in five minutes. But when you're on a radio show and you're doing stuff on the air, nothing is more important than that. <laughs> I think what Jim is, is trying to say is that the XM show over here is from 9 to pretty much 11, so for those two hours a day, maybe we can get Derek on the board. You bumbling incompetent. <laughs> Would that be fair? It's fair, and I think Derek is willing to do it. And if he'll commit to it, then... <laughs> what do you want me to say? I've asked for it. I I you're, I you're, you're the boss. <laughs> you're the boss, buddy. You love just... telling me how you're the boss. Be the boss and just make it happen. Right. That's it. You're right. Holy. You're right. It's mind-boggling to me. Like, it's mind-boggling to me how there's a lot. There's not a whole lot of understanding about the other stuff that goes on. I understand you think I'm an idiot. I understand. No, no, no. Think... It's not about you being. No, <laughs> nothing. No, no. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is like it's not an idiocy. It's just priorities. Like if we say. We want this guy on the board because he does a good job because uh, stuff on the fly. Okay. No one listening to the show on a moment like that is going to, like when, when Ant's doing that brilliant rant, and it would have been great to have music or something like that, is going to go, well, we, it, it, there's something we, we're lacking, but God damn, that sweeper was good for fucking Whip Him Out Wednesday or whatever. There's nothing more important than what's happening in a moment. You're right. You're right. I made an ass <laughs> myself. Yeah, we missed was, a really good moment there. All right. It happens. But how um, come it was like after we asked for it? What I'm saying, I can, I'm not, that's why I'm saying it's not a stupidity issue. If after we've asked for it and, and given the reasons, it just like it goes right back to where it was. How does that happen? Because he's on. What will what'll happen is now Derek will stay on the board on the XM side for two weeks, realize that he's, he, he'll, he'll say to me, I'm wasting my time. <clears throat> I should be in here doing production. And you'll I, say, okay, you can do what you want. Fuck with the on-air staff. No, I, did, I didn't say, I never have said fuck with the on-air staff. I said, Derek, if you think you can get production done and and uh, it's a better it's it's a better uh, uh, time uh, usage of your resources, then go do it. Once again, you can do what you want. Fuck with the on-air no, staff. No, never, never said that. Never said that. It's not fuck the on-air staff, and I've never said that. You don't you have to. You dumb asshole. <laughs> So from 9 to 11, there won't be any stuff done in that production studio. I don't give a shit. All right. <laughs> I don't you know care what? if the fuck it, if tumbleweeds are in the production studio from 9 to 11. I honest to God, don't. It's impossible. 
I know. You'd have to open the door earlier and let them blow in. Master Poe would search them and make them fill out paperwork. <laughs> Steve Butcher is good, but he's not good on the this board. Not, I like Butcher. This he's has not good do on the not board. Like I don't know how else to tell you. Like, no, I, I know, and like, you know what? But you know, and, Dirk, dude, and it's not a waste of time for Dirk. Like on the CBS side, Danny or E Rock, mo mostly Danny these days. They're 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 getting stuff to make the show better on the fly. Over here, no offense, I listen to the show every fucking day in replay. There's nothing going on. Uh, you know, with uh, with 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 the show, there's no music ad, ad, added. Well, there's no sound. There's no sound clips because Butcher doesn't uh, get it. Eric and, can be doing, and it. Eric does yeah. a great job. And he, he doesn't knows, get and it. He knows. He knows. Listen the to the fucking replay. There's nothing. It's me, Jimmy, and Ant. That's it. No. There's no music. Uh, you know, uh, pumping up uh, what we're doing. There's 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 no sound clips. There's nothing. He just sits and there every and time, stares at me. Okay, every time I see Eric <laughs> in, the, in in the office not doing something, uh, the excuse that's given. Is it's a day of the week? No. <laughs> Guys, this is what I'm good at. <laughs> no. Why are you not on the board? Why are you not on the board? Because and usually the answer is because Oprah just asked me for this X, Y, and Z. And I'm and I'm That's guessing. Eric, but, right? Yeah, it's yeah, the size. Eric. Dude, I said Derek. I understand you said Derek, but, but Eric can do this too. No, it's not no, no, no. Derek. We didn't ask for Eric. It's, it's, for, it's for besides Derek. the point. Eric Eric's good at certain things, and Derek's good at certain things. And one of the things that Derek is better than Eric at is running that board and pulling clips for the show. We Derek. got more guys working for this radio show than any other radio show in America. Travis, E Rock. Hey, what's wrong with the staff we got? Derek. <laughs> Derek. Travis. Danny. Dan. Oh, wait. Dan. <laughs> Big homo. Steve, you gotta know how Teasing to. Teasing Steve. But it's almost like we asked You gotta for know something. how to use your people. You don't know how to use your people whatsoever. We asked for something. Butcher, and then it was, Butcher it doesn't get the pop culture shit we're doing. How do you not know that's a good fellow's rant? Holy right. crap. Right. I mean, God, especially this, this show, and then, I mean, Butch, I love you, but, I mean, his big excuse was, well, if it's a movie, I'm not going to know it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this show. No, this I show understand. is nothing but movie reference. Every fucking line out of our mouths is a movie reference. No, I get it. And and you know what? I think Eric could be doing it, but if you want Derek, then Derek. Well, we asked too. for Derek. I know you asked for and, Derek. And it was disregarded. It wasn't disregarded. Sure was. Have you noticed? You only notice when he's not in there. You don't notice, you don't notice the three weeks at a time that he is well, in there. Well, then what does that tell you? Who? Derek, <laughs> what does that Derek tell you? On the, no. When have you been on the board for three weeks in a row? Lately. Yeah, exactly. So he's not in there for three weeks. But you're like, there we only notice when he's not in there. Well, then that should tell you something. If we notice when he's not in there, then that means that there is a void when he's not in there. It's a void when there happens to be one of these incidents. It's just... <laughs> Like what? We my, need something my, for the radio show? No, 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 no. <laughs> my explanation is no, no, it's no. nice. Where's it's, the fuck you Friday promo? <laughs> See? Doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Actually, he asked for it yesterday, and then we got one. Uh, yeah, but you could do that at 11.01 to 1.30 in the afternoon. What time does Derek start? Or anybody start? What? I can't... What? Derek's yelling. Derek's out of his fucking up. mind. Derek's going nuts. Derek's going nuts. Oh, boy. Why is Derek going nuts? He's right. telling Steve to turn the fuck around. Don't look at him. Oh, shit. <laughs> turn the fuck around. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do it then. Uh, oh. No, there's a, there's a lot of fuck yous that fly around when I'm out of the room, and uh, yeah. we, can, we can deal with those accordingly. So. Well, Whoa. it's not about fuck you. It is, it's, it's legitimately about if we say something like we had the discussion on the air. I don't care if it bores the audience. It's like they, they get pissed if they don't get what they want on the show. And then we ask for something, and it's not done. I don't get it. I don't get how that happens constantly. It, there's no miscommunication. It is simply, eh. I mean, that's what it is. No, it's not. Eh. It, it's of course not, it is. There's something. Ma there's a it's major, majorly there's wrong. a major problem here. Like, I, I mean, do, does everyone leave at 11 when we leave? Are no, people staying and doing work? Two. <laughs> no, people are people are all here past 11. People are all here past, past 11. Of time. Most people work eight hours in the fucking yeah. world. We yeah. were on air for fucking five. Yeah, there's, <laughs> yeah. there's plenty of people and plenty of time to get everything uh, done for this show. Simple as that. The production is stuff that takes time, and that's why. So you're saying that the on air thing should suffer, so the no. production sweepers can be better no one no one listens for sweepers no one and i don't know a whole lot about the ratings but i've never heard fucking a show being really good because the sweepers no, were i'm not thick. saying i'm not saying that the sweep that the, that the ratings hinge on sweepers but you know it's nice to have them freshened it's nice to have the current content in them and right but that can be done and how, how would he know the current content when he's not in, in the room to hear it because he's listening to it 
How can he if he's doing production? He's listening to it in the back office, pulling drops all morning. So why does he just fucking be in here when it's done and then make a mental note? Oh yeah, I'll grab that later. So I think it would keep him here all day. I think. I, I think. Oh my god! No, 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 no. He wouldn't be here all, all day. day long. Okay, well then, how about just for a little of the day, like till no, one thirty, two o'clock? I think he'd get. I think he'd get a quarter of the shit done. But wait, wait. That's just as he's somebody. Only here, he's as, only... as somebody who did it for six years, why? Why the fuck would I know that? Exactly. You know. He'd get he'd get you a fraction of the shit done. You wouldn't have the product. You wouldn't have the you know the the the, the recycled production that people are asked. That you care that, more about the production. No, I don't that's care the, more about. Of course you do. That's the reality. That's why that is that way. I know more about it. Yes. Yeah. So that's where your heart is, and that's what you're thinking, and that's why when it comes to a choice between the on air thing and the production, that's why you you push towards the production. So it sounds good. It sounds good. I understand your I understand your argument about. About the on air, I'm not. It's, it's not even an argument. It's an absolute point. It's a, it's a point. It's an absolute inarguable point because it's not like Derek. We have Derek for two hours a day, and then he goes back into a box. Derek is here, and I'm not saying Derek doesn't work hard. I love Derek. I, I want him on the board. I think he's a good participant for the show. He's a social zilch. I mean, he, he doesn't say hi to anybody. He's a no. fucking weirdo. He's a drunk. But he's good on the board. Is he a drunk really? With well, his yeah. open-toed shoes? Worse, worse than, than I ever oh, could be. Right. Well, I, I he doesn't disappear even... into a box after the show. It's a bottle. He <laughs> just crawls a into. A box of wine. I get texts from Derek sometimes at four in the afternoon telling me how drunk he is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, don't, I can't grasp how, how it can be justified when we've, when we've talked about it. Oh, like when we've said I it. I understand it. I, 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 I want E-Rock's opinion on this. Where's E-Rock? Oh, yeah. Where's Fatso? Uh, there he comes. Fatso. Fatso. Iraq. Word's well, been around a while. Iraq's been doing radio since he was 12. It's like the Doogie Hauser of radio. Ugh. What's your take on this whole thing? Um, all right. The, arg the argument that Steve and I just had after all this went down. He goes, what the hell were you doing? I said, pulling audio, at, like the Jay Moore stuff with the Leno, some IDs that Derek needed and everything, because there's nobody in the office who does any fucking production... Because Danny's in here. Usually I'm on that board, and I wasn't because I was pulling some other stuff. Like yesterday with the Ron and Fez stuff, all Tacos. the Hoagie Boy shit. I'm sitting right there all the time. Today, we had a bunch of other shit going on, so I had to go in the office because no one else was going to do it. And it just happened that you went into a rant that needed a specific song that Butcher didn't know, and he was sitting on the board as a filler right now. I don't like the fact that Eric's voice gets musical when he describes himself. <laughs> la, 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 la. So what happened? Uh, I went la, la, into la, the la, office. We have to do that. <laughs> Some more shit needed to be done. So I yeah. went to the office and la, 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 la. Yes. la, la. Oklahoma. <laughs> Scooby dooby doo. I'm in the office. <laughs> but no, we're not, we're not talking about but you. But Butcher, Butcher's mm. the worst person to be on the board. He's here. automatically defending himself. Look, I was doing this like not even yeah, about but you. No one said anything about it, you. It, it wasn't a defense. It was an explanation as to why Butcher was sitting there at the moment. It's not about Butcher either. I like Butcher. It's about Derek. Like, why wasn't Derek? It was only Derek's absence yes. I care about. Oh, that's, right. that's not that's I know. My so call. I know. Oh, you know nothing about that. No, I know about mm -hmm. it. It's just not my call. Oh. Whose call is it? It's between Derek and Steve. Well, then whose call would that be? Do you uh, think probably <laughs> when Steve told me you're going on the board because Butcher? Do you think Butcher should be on ago, the so board? I sat on there. Huh? You think Butcher should be on the board? During the for the no, not for this show, yeah. not for this. It's obvious to everybody. That's yeah. and as an executive producer, you need to know that. But we've also. And I'm not beating you up, dude. Doesn't we, mean that Butcher is not valuable to the uh, the the show. Is it, 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 he could be used better. I understand that, and I do know that. And no, every because we've been we said that, that many, many times. We, we've said that we've gone over this on the air before and off the air, and it's amazing to me how we can go over something like that, explain. Look, we feel it's better for the show when we're on the air, and then he's gone again. I don't comprehend how that would fucking happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just because mm -hmm. the guy sitting there doesn't feel like he's doing anything, that's bullshit. Because he should always be trying to figure out how he can enhance what's being done on the radio show. I think that was really what it was. He came to me and said, I just don't feel like I'm helping out the show so today. So then you go, go back to Butcher, the guy we definitely don't want on the board. No, I go back to Eric, and I say, Eric, would you jump on the it's board? It's not a democracy. It's not the way it works. I know it sounds mm. shitty, but that's the reality. Okay. Hey, Rock, what seems to be the problem? Oh, shit. Here First. comes Derek. Ah, here comes Derek. I've tried to stay out of this for as long as I could. But I never came to you and said I'm not helping out the show. Yeah, you have. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. The reason I came to you that was... That was your subconscious. That was oh, sorry. The original <laughs> discussion we had between Jim and everybody else was, 
but I would be on the board during the XM session, and you would be in the back office doing production. They wanted you back there. Right. For the two and a half weeks I was on the board, you weren't doing shit. You were just sitting in the office, not no. getting anything oh. done. Oh. So I said, fuck this. I'm getting backed up on stuff. I need to go back there and do more work. And you know why that happened? Because it was the Steve's not listening to the show. Let's beat him up for not listening to the show, and I couldn't do production. So, so I had to get into the office and get on the phone and then and, and, and then start listening to the show all the time. But based also on what Derek is saying, you said earlier that Derek sits on the board for a few weeks and then says, uh, I'm wasting my time. I'm not getting anything done. I can't sit here, which is yeah. not the case. He yeah. has a lot to do. Yeah, he does. He's not wasting his time sitting on the board. His time could be used better somewhere else. He is not complaining that he has to sit there. He no. rather would sit there. But yeah, he doesn't I, have the time to do it or the opportunity to do it because he he's got lawyer? a million other shit to do. <laughs> yeah, we really we talk. <laughs> you rock so. for the defense. Exactly. <laughs> Would you rather be on the board for two? I have no problem being on the board. But I'm just saying, if there's going to be another void, somebody's got to step up and just not I sit there. Board again. I'm going to punch someone. Have we just heard the word board so many times? The board, yeah. the board. Sit on the board. Get on the board. Enough, yeah, enough. I, the board. I, I, I'd rather sit on I told Danny two weeks ago that I'd like to what's go back and getting, sit on the board. Yeah. But what's not... So, look, I've been saying forever because I, I know where Derek's strengths are. Yeah, he does great production, but I would love him back on the board. And we were just having this very same conversation no more again. than two weeks ago. I know. So, so what's not getting done because you're on the board? <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's just more production and stuff, that's all. And what is Steve doing in the office, then? Listening to the show, booking guests, answering all the uh, the wonderful e emails that come in that uh, that have to get done to the show. And it's a lot of it's a lot of paying attention to the show it's because... Showtime stuff. Yeah, the after show stuff. <laughs> See? Wait, who's They're saying that you in there? Danny, Danny is a... Uh... What? 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 We heard you, Danny. So now you know. <laughs> what? What were you gonna say? What did I say? I could seriously. So, I'll repeat it. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you said something like I could so go in there and say stuff. Oh, I know. I was saying I could so go in there and lose my job right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying. All I'm saying is because I, I hear. What, look, it's on the radio, so we're saying stuff, right? So, booking guests in the office, but doesn't Roland book like 99.8 percent of the guests? He held, He does. He does. He does, but like this thing that, that I know the there. handwriting thing, great. But I'm saying yeah. Roland's booking guests like every day. It's not like that's like a once in a while kind of thing. It's not like every day you're, you know, it's like oh, let me get let me get this person from this TV show on the phone and let's see when we can come in. I mean, for the majority of the time, it's Roland book doing the guest book. Right? I understand, but right. there's a lot of stuff that's got to get done, and it's you know, and if I'm not listening to the show, I'm afraid that I'm going to get yanked in here and slapped. So your fear of being embarrassed on the air can't dictate what's best for the show, though. See, because I've I've admitted having my mouth shit in. At least I hope I have. <laughs> can I just can I just make an observation? Like, if, and uh, uh, and that's what is important is what we request for on the air. Being, it's mind-boggling how anything can take priority over that. Can I make an observation? I mean, I mean, obviously, I listen to the show. Uh, I hope everybody's listening to the show. I noticed that the board was run a lot better. Sorry. <laughs> uh, when Derek was on it, so I mean, how do you not see? that that's somewhere where we might need to make a few changes. I know it's somewhere that has to get changed, and that's why we put Eric back on it. And if Eric's yeah, not Yeah, but Derek guy, is better than Eric. So if we on ask the board. for Derek, why Sorry. don't we have Derek? <laughs> <laughs> we asked for Derek on the board. Ello. <laughs> the bordello. The <laughs> bordello. <laughs> you know what? Originally, Ope was the one that told me to put Eric back on the board at, uh, <laughs> uh, at, uh, at XM. And, uh, and that's why I put Eric back on. Ope? Well, it's better than Butcher. Well, that's, you know. Eric? But that was a long time ago, Steve. At that mm -hmm. point, it's either Dirk or e -Rock. I don't give right. a shit. I just I understand I that. give a shit that I see Butcher every day, because I know he's not... You shouldn't see, he, you he, shouldn't be seeing Butcher every day. I, you took, we you, see him a lot. All right, maybe not every day, but... You put production as a higher priority than what was happening live on the show. And that was pointed out a long time ago because you're a production guy. That's what you see. That's what your strength is, and where you're like for me, my my background is stand up. Your background is production. It's the way it is. Um, bada beep, bada boop, bada beep, bada boop, bada beep, bada boop. He wants the rock, <laughs> and I want to know. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, um, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it just continually, like what we say we want on the air, is fucking irrelevant. No, it's not irrelevant. Of course it is. It's if not it's irrelevant. not done, it's irrelevant. No, it's not true because it is done, and then it gets and and then yeah, we it, it gets migrated. Do you have away an from. example? Um, we would like Derek on the board. 
We feel he's best on the board. Better than Iraq, better than Butcher. He just, for some reason, contributed a lot on the air. Derek, that's your strength. That's where we want you. But what does Derek want in return? It, um, if he's on the board. As much as I like Derek, Pablo I never thought to ask. <laughs> All right. Derek? Well, His paycheck. Well, Derek would like to feel that, what, stuff is getting done that you would normally do if you're not on the yeah, board. Yeah, I mean, and I that's think that's not, only fair. Yeah. You know, if, if, so, if there's a void that's created, then that void just needs to be filled. So, mm. you know, there's no point in just having people stand around doing nothing. Why do we have so many? <laughs> we have a lot of guys on this staff. Like, mm -hmm. when you do a TV show mm -hmm. or whatever, um, what's going on in the air at the moment, you don't yank one of the fucking actors or one of the lighting guys because he does great PR work <laughs> in the back. Because that's an off-air issue. Like, meaning, as important as it is, that's that has nothing to do at the moment with what's going on over the air. Like it, it can't be worked out to the detriment of what's going on over the air. All right, well this is going to go in circles. And it's not circles. Um, it's a concrete. It's no. a it's a direct line. This is what we want. All right, then from now on, then Derek's on the board. But that was from said Mandela. months no, ago. It really was. Dude. It really was. I understand that. But when that void happens, that means what? I go in the studio and I cut production and. I got headphones on and I can't hear what's going on. Or it's done after the show. Like the two hours. You have to go to an XM from fucking no, 8 I, to 7 p.m. No, no. <laughs> I, I know, I understand that. And, and, and it can get done. I'm just, you're, you're right. You're right. My, that's, that's my, a, my worry is there's less of it that's going to get done. Well, no. That, the tough job of an executive producer, you pretty much, it's pretty much a 24 hour day job. And I were recently over at Sirius and late in the afternoon and Boy <laughs> Gary was still there. He's always breathing, you know, the, sh the radio show. There's plenty of guys to get everything done that we need done for this show. Plenty, plenty, of, plenty guys. of guys. Get a fucking no one has a division of like men this. here. Hmm. All right, it'll be fixed. But, but it wasn't fixed. It will be. I know that, but we already said it was a long time ago and it wasn't fixed. 